Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades. In today's video, I want to show you guys logistically how to enter a call calendar spread inside of your Thinkorswim platform. So again, this video is not meant to be uh, anything about pricing or how we trade them, when we trade them, what setups are best. It's purely meant to show you how we actually get the order executed and build it out inside the Thinkorswim platform. So again, once you're inside of your Thinkorswim platform, you're gonna to wanna to go to the trade tab up in the top left and then all products and then type in the ticker symbol of whatever you wanna trade. So in this case, we're trading SPY. Now, for our purposes in this video, what I've done is I've actually hidden all the weekly contracts because I'm just gonna show you how to do it with monthly contracts. You can do this with weeklies. It's more commonly done with the monthly contracts, which are like the April, May, June, July, et cetera, right? So you can see the two monthly contracts that I have open. I have April and May at the time we're doing this video. Now remember, a call calendar spread is a combination of buying one month and selling another month. And that's why people get a little bit confused, but the calendar word in the strategy basically tells you that you're dealing with two different contract months. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and try to execute a 235 call calendar spread. So that's gonna be the 235 strike prices in both months. Now this is important to actually open up both contract months so you can see that you have to be trading the same strike in both months to do a call calendar spread. In this case, April does have half strikes, 235 and a half, 234 and a half, et cetera, but none of those strikes can be found in the next month. So you have to go with the round or even number strikes like 235, 234, et cetera. Remember with a call calendar spread, you are selling the front month, which is the April contracts in this case, front month meaning that you're selling basically anything that's closer and back month is the one that you're buying. So you're gonna buy the back month, again, any back month that's further out than the one you're selling. So in this case, we're gonna buy the 235 calls in May and then we're going to sell the 235 calls in April. Now you can execute this order by right clicking on the April contracts and going over to buy and then calendar. So that will be the first one that you do. Now again, what Thinkorswim and most broker platforms do is they default your order. So they say, okay, we recognize you wanna sell the April 21 day or the basically the expire on the 21st of 2017. We recognize that that's gonna be your sell, but they default in here that the next available purchase is the next contract out, which is actually the weekly contracts. So what you wanna do is you wanna come in here and actually physically change the expiration date to that May contract, that's the monthly contract, the 19 May 17th, that's the May 19th, 2017. So again, that's gonna be a little bit different. Again, you wanna physically go in here and change this if they default automatically. And that's because you right clicked on it and said, okay, go ahead and try to build out my calendar for me. And now you can see that this is the price here, right? Now the system recognizes that you're buying a calendar, again, that you are buying the 235 uh, calls in May, selling the 235 calls in April, still requires a net debit of $153. Now, an easier way to do this, and the way that I like to do this, is again, to hold down the control key on your keyboard, whether on a Mac or Windows, and you're going to click on the sell bid for the April contracts, and then you're gonna keep holding down your keyboard and click on the ask price for buying the 235 calls in the next month. Now that's the simpler way to do it. And you can see we created the exact same order here in just two clicks with holding down the control function and we get the same price. Now it's a little bit easier to do that because I know exactly what I'm trading. I like doing that, I prefer to do that uh, because I know exactly what I'm trading. I don't get mixed up with possibly doing a weekly contract that I didn't want to do to begin with. So when I do call calendar spreads or put calendar spreads, I usually enter the order this way. So once you actually get the order up, you can go ahead and hit confirm and send and place the order in the system. So as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. If you have any comments or feedback, I'd love to know. If you like this video, please consider sharing it online. Help spreading the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. And until next time, happy trading.